Are you ready to get blessed today? Hallelujah. Well, I want to talk to you this morning about the running over anointing. Early on in the convention, uh, one of the speakers was doing the offering, and they mentioned Luke 638, which says this, uh, give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men pour into your lap. And that word running over just really exploded in my spirit. I thought, okay, it's the last in the list. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And it gets the least amount of attention. You know, so I thought, okay, one word from God it can change your life forever. So let's use it. Actually, running over, you say, well, that's two words. No, in the Greek, it's one word. It's hyper echi nomenon. And that's one word. And uh, it sounds like a hyper phenomenon, you know? And uh, the word itself, it, it kind of connotates that you can live a lifestyle of running over. Okay? I mean, it's nice to have every once in a while, you know, you know, extra, a blessing, you know, something comes and surprises you, but there's a lifestyle where everything is running over. And that's what I saw in this word. And I thought of three different uh, things that really are related to running over. The first one is this idea of hurry up and run over to the place of blessing. Now, the first verse here, Genesis 45, 9, uh, it says this, hurry up and go to my father and say to him, thus says your son Joseph, God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not tarry. Joseph in the Old Testament was put in charge of all the food in Egypt. And all of a sudden, the whole world was lining up to get food from Egypt. And there was famine in Israel. And so Joseph's brothers came. Joseph's brothers, who sold him into slavery, came looking for food. He revealed himself to them. And he said, hurry up and go get dad. You guys get down here where the blessing is. Now, that's what God's telling you today. This whole last week was about that. Get where the blessing is so that you can live this life of running over. He said, so that's this idea of running over. You run over to where the blessing is. It was so cool this last week just seeing people line up to get in the convention center. And when the doors open, they would run to the front to get where the blessing is. It was just a cool picture. Anyways, the second uh, point here, the second kind of running over is to get run over. <laughs> now, I assume nobody's ever been run over by a chocolate truck. <laughs> Has anyone ever been run over by a chocolate truck? Okay, that's what I thought. All right, that's, I need to show you something here. These that I brought here are called, these are Tim Tams. Now, it was so fun listening to the, the song Shout to the Lord this morning. We, we got that from Australia. And in the early 90s at the church here, we were in Australia doing conventions. We brought that song back and started singing it here at the church. And the anointing would just flow. It was awesome. Something else we brought back from Australia is this. These are called Tim Tams. It's a cookie covered in chocolate. Now, look at that big picture on your screen there. You notice the two ends are bitten off. That's what you do with these. You take this chocolate cookie, you get a cup of hot chocolate, you just nibble off opposite ends of this cookie, then you put one end in the hot chocolate, and you suck the hot chocolate up into the cookie from the other end, and when the hot chocolate reaches your tongue, and you know it, then you slam it into your mouth. It's called the Tim Tam Slam. And once it gets into your mouth, it completely melts in your mouth. It's such an awesome chocolatey experience. <laughs> and when people ask me, you know, what's the big deal? Why do you like those so much? It's like getting run over by a chocolate truck. <laughs> it is so much chocolate. It's just amazing. Now, Dr. Spencer, your chocolate doctor, tells, recommends that you not do more than two. Because if you do more than two, then, uh, you know, you'll have a sugar high and, you know, could, could be problematic. Now, this is the original. That's the original. I've got some other ones here, too. And this one is extra chocolatey. I don't know how you can get extra chocolatey. And this one's caramel. Now, I'm going to give these to Pastor Terry because she has grandkids. 
<laughs> and so you get all the grandkids around and you do this, but only one or two, because if you do more than that, they'll be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> Anyways, but I, I wanted to share that with you because it's overwhelming. I mean, it's like running over chocolate. It's like a chocolate overdose. And I like chocolate, so. <laughs> I could talk about chocolate all day. But listen to this in Deuteronomy 28, 2. And all these blessings, say all these blessings, all these. shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. That's getting run over. God's, you run to the place of blessing, but God's been running to you. There is a collision in your future. And this collision, you know, the blessings of God are bigger than you and they're gonna run you over and flatten you. And you will have no more resistance to the blessing of God. And all the dumb stuff you've been doing to resist the blessing, it's not gonna mean anything because he's just gonna run over you like a chocolate truck. Okay. The third point here is uh, living each day with an expectation of God's blessings running over in your life. Listen to Psalms 23, verse 5. He says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. God wants you to get to this place where you're so close to him that the running over experience just continuously uh, exhibits itself in your life. You're running over, running over, running over. What did Jesus say? He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. This is living in the running over. You know, we've got an overflow room. I think we should change the name to the running over room because we're going to be running over in this church so much. I mean, you're going to be running over in your finances. You're going to be running over in the Holy Spirit of God. Every morning when you wake up, I'm telling you, there's a running over anointing that God wants you to live in each and every day. So we're going to pray in the spirit here for a minute. Running over, running over, out of our belly. Running over, running over, Father. We come up to a place of running over in the name of Jesus. Father, we run over to the place of supernatural increase, supernatural overflow, supernatural. And Father, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Now, today, when you give in faith and expect God to fulfill his word, you activate the running over anointing to fly in your life. You put your faith in your gift today. Put your faith. You're not just, oh, I'm just giving. No, 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 no. God said, if you give, you will get. It will overflow. If you give today, you will put your faith in that. Don't just say, okay, I'm giving. No, 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 no. Some of you have so much seed in the ground, it's ridiculous. But when you attach your faith to it, you're activating that supernatural flow of running over in your life. So Father, we release the blessing of God in the name of Jesus to run over, run over, run over. Lord, past seeds and the seeds. Lord, today with this seed, we activate all the other seeds in Jesus' name to flow. And we thank you, Lord, for doing it in Jesus' name. Spencer and Cindy Nordyke, Reaching Nations and Generations. For more information, visit nordicministries.com.